हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल मनीकांत सिंह स्टडी मंत्रा नाउ इट इज़ ऑल आई एम प्रोवाइडिंग ऑनलाइन क्लासेस फॉर लुइड इंटरनेशनल एकेडमी सो ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ देम आई एम डिलीवरिंग यू द रिमेनिंग पोर्शन ऑफ द चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स दैट इज व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर प्लांट्स प्रिपेयरिंग एंड स्टोरिंग फूड सो इन प्रीवियस video we ha i have uh, explained that uh, concepts regarding uh, inside that chapter up to the up to page number 51 but the activity one was pending for today's class so we will start right from the activity one in today's class let's have a look there <coughs> so this is the activity one does a green leaf have starts that means they are asking green in in a green uh, in a green leaf is it possible to have starts so step 1 first of all you have to take a fallen leaf green leaf and the leaf must be a mm, healthy one from a healthy plant such that we can ensure that the tree is capable of preparing food right that means photosynthesis is possible in that particular plant now step 2 in step 2 first of all you have to do what you have to boil the leaf in a beaker which is full of water then after boiling you have to take that leaf inside a test tube which uh, in uh, inside which alcohol will be there so now you are going to boil that leaf in the presence of that alcohol as shown in the experimental figure in step 2 next step 3 then you have to make it cold that means you have to put that leaf out from the alcohol and put inside a what cold water basin or cold water beaker after that in the first fourth step you have to put some iodine solution on that leaf that has been uh, at the last stage so if you add a few drops of iodine then if you will you will come to this you can come to this conclusion when you add iodine to the bleached leaf it turns blue black and this blue black color shows you that starts is present in a green leaf that means it is up evidence for the statement that starts has what a starts is present in a healthy green leaf so let us move to the next activity so in the next page there will be activity 2 if you look at the activity there you will see is sunlight needed for photosynthesis that means we have to prove that sunlight is necessary for photosynthesis is it necessary we need to prove that so in a step 1 take a healthy potted plant and keep it in the dark for about how many for about 24 hours okay take a healthy potted plant and keep it in the dark for about 24 hours that means what why we are doing that because we all know that in dark that means no sunlight is available so if we put it for keep it for 24 hours that means one whole day and one whole night if we keep it there that means we are quite sure that no photosynthesis no, uh, no not a single piece of photosynthesis reaction is being de, uh, occurring there that means what yahan pe koi kisi tarah ka photosynthesis ab tak nahi hua hai agar sunlight photosynthesis ke liye zaruri hai to that's why they are keeping that potted plant healthy potted plant for 24 hours not just for 1 2 hours or 3 4 hours okay now in the next step if you look at there 
cover one of its leaves cover one of its leaves partly and with a strip of black paper see listen carefully with a black paper if you cover one of those leaves of the potted plant under that black paper the portion under the black paper of the leaf will be what will not get sunlight right they will be uh, it will be uh, free from sunlight but the remaining portion of the leaf will uh, face to sunlight that means sunlight will fall on the remaining portion of that leaf but one portion that has been covered by the black paper will not be exposed to sunlight understood now keep the plant out in the sunlight for four to five hours you may take for more hours also this is just a rough idea now what you have to do same technique that we have done in uh, first activity the same process you have to follow but for that particular leaf you have to pick it up pluck it up and where a black strip was there black strip of uh, color of uh, black colored strip was there right so if you pour uh, at the last step if you pour some iodine drop add some iodine drop a few iodine drops then what will happen at the conclusion you will see the part of the leaf that was covered with black paper does not turn blue black but the remaining portion will be turned to blue, uh, blue black what it implies the portion which has been uh, turned to blue black uh, is a clear evidence of photosynthesis or presence of stars because due to photosynthesis presence can be uh, no, sorry stars can be formed so there is photosynthesis occurring in that portion but the portion where which is covered by the black colored paper was not exposed to sunlight where photosynthesis also not occurring so this is a clear evidence of sunlight which is needed for photosynthesis i hope you got it <coughs> now activity three is chlorophyll needed for photosynthesis it is another important uh, it is another important experiment so now take a colas leaf draw its outline on a sheet of paper mark the green and non-green area see if you look at the various types of leaves there you will come to know there you will see that some leaves are uh, some portion of that particular leaf are green and some portion is yellow or some pale color that means which is non-green color so that kind of leaf you have to uh, take for the pick for the for this experiment okay activity now what you will do simply you have to follow the process that has been you uh, that has been shown in activity one the same process you have to follow see same thing <coughs> now you have to add a few drops of iodine now the at the first step you will see with the help of the paper outline find out which parts of the leaf turns blue black that means from that you can see the part of the leaf which was initially green turns that portion into blue black but the portion which was yellow or some other pale color does not show blue black color that means what for photosynthesis uh, for photosynthesis or for preparation of starts all the plants 
or the leaves need what chlorophyll that means presence of chlorophyll is quite necessary for photosynthesis it implies this uh, uh, this is what implies by this particular experiment or activity I hope you got it so let us move to the next portion page number 53 if you look at this diagram this diagram is very much important from exam point of view okay you please practice these diagrams uh, all the diagrams uh, for example the dental uh, the uh, diagram of the various parts showing showing various parts of a teeth this diagram and some other diagrams in the previous chapters also very much important from exam point of view because these type of diagrams are going to come in your examinations so you have to be focused about these diagrams you uh, keep practicing uh, uh, these diagrams in your leisure time okay now let us move to this topic energy flow in living things we need energy for every activity we do yes without energy we cannot do any activity so energy is necessary for doing some kind of any kind of activity by any living organism now this energy comes from food yes we get this energy from food only we, if, if we do not consume food we will not be able to get that particular energy now this food is prepared by green plants these are not prepared by animals or human beings okay so these are uh, prepared by green plants only so the green plants trap what happens green plants track the trap the sun's energy during photosynthesis to prepare food these green plants we all know that these green plants seem to be green just because of the presence of chlorophyll and chlorophyll is responsible for trapping the sun's energy that means energy in the sunlight is being trapped by chlorophyll molecules that has been present in green leaves during photosynthesis or during daytime to prepare food now this energy is passed on to humans and animals when they eat the plants yes these uh, later these plants will be eaten up by or consumed by human beings or many other herbivorous plants so this way this is the way how energy flows from the sun to plants and then to the animals and human beings I hope you got it this is the flow of energy and this is shown in this particular in this particular diagram this is a energy flow diagram now come to the next paragraph that is animals and plants depend on each other both animals and plants depend on each other for survival and how we will come to know about this through this paragraph animals need food to eat and oxygen to breathe plants give animals this food and oxygen this is why fish live longer in an aquarium with water plants in it than in one without them see this particular paragraph gives you the clear evidence of need of oxygen as well as food for any animal so see plants have chlorophyll which is responsible for preparation of food and that food is provided to do all those animals who eat them also during the process photosynthesis there is some clear evidences of evolution of or release of oxygen gas during the process that means during photosynthesis the plant prepare food as well as it releases a gas called oxygen which is used by the animals to breathe so that is why a fish lives for longer period of time in an aquarium with water plants in it then one without them that means if there are two aquarium one of uh, in one of them green plants are 
available and in uh, in the other no green plants if we keep two fishes over there the fish in the green plant will live longer fish in the aquarium where green plants is more it will be uh, uh, live longer than the other one okay now come to the next paragraph plants need carbon dioxide to prepare food animals breathe out carbon dioxide this is used by plants so plants and animals depend on each other see plants also depends on human beings or animals how because for preparation of food which will be again utilized by both animals as well as plants for their growth they need carbon dioxide that means for preparation of food during photosynthesis they need plants need carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide is released by what animals during the process called exhalation or breathing so this is how plants and animals depend on each other one depends due to carbon dioxide and one depend on food or oxygen so i hope you got it now the last but a very important topic that is balance in nature now why we need balance in nature a balance needs to be maintained between the number of plants and animals what will happen if there is sudden increase in the number of animals what happen see plants may not be able to supply enough food and oxygen to all the animals see if a sudden increase in the number of animals happens in or uh, occurs in a in your nature then what will happen the number of plants are still remain the same so they may not be able to supply enough oxygen and food to all the animals because number of animals increasing plants are remain same so previously the plants were generating uh, that much of food as well as oxygen will get the new one also so now increase uh, the number is increased for plants you know for animals so they have to share that particular the previous amount only you have they have to share right so the amount for each animal will become decreased or if there is a sudden increase in the number of plants if this time number of plants is increasing but the animals are still the same so the carbon dioxide breathed breath out by animals may not be enough for the plants this new plants need more carbon dioxide but the number of animals are same throughout the duration so the same amount of carbon dioxide is has to be shared by all these new number of plants so that means what they have to share the initial amount so they will not get they may not get the enough amount of carbon dioxide for food preparation now similarly if there is a sudden decrease in the number of either plants or animals it will disturb the whole balance of in their nature so this is how we should uh, this is why we should uh, it should be balanced in our nature okay the amount of uh, the number of animals as well as plants should be in balance for uh, smooth operation of the or survival of the natural things okay now to maintain this balance in nature we have to protect both plant and what and animal look at here animal life now under wildlife protection programs wild animals are given special protection in forest reserves and sanctuaries programs like banam mahotsav help to promote the planting of trees people are made aware of the harmful effects caused by the continuous cutting down of trees if life on earth has to go on a balance in nature must be maintained see there was a program uh which was uh run by 
government of india due to the promotion of planting of trees that means these programs are mainly to promote the plantation of trees which is the aadhar you can say aadhar of what balance in our nature because if there is enough forest reserves or plants in on earth then only other wild animals as well as other animals can survive smoothly without any problem in this under uh, in this nature understood so under wildlife protection programs wildlife are uh, are given special protection in forest reserves and sanctuaries so f these programs are helpful for protecting them now people are made see people are normally cut the trees without thinking or just for their profit they used to do what they used to cut down trees and sell it or whatever they do but due to this acting but due to this act what is happening due to this act uh, the number of tree day by day decreases so which creates some kind of imbalance as we have discussed in the previous topic so similar types of imbalance may take place due to these activities done by human beings so to pro to uh, make aware people as well as save uh, wild lives uh, this type of uh, promotional programs has been taken into consideration which uh, helps uh, to life uh, to which helps all life on earth has to go on and balance in nature which is quite necessary or important to maintain this balance okay so i hope you understood this about the whole concept regarding this chapter and one more important thing we have left here you can see a banana leaf shape there where a very important quote is quotation is there five june is world environment day plant a new a few saplings in your school at home that means plant a few saplings of in your home, school as well as at your, your home you can go do so on your birthday too look after the plant as it grows into a tree it may bear fruit and it will give shade to all so this is the theme of plantation and this is the theme of the 5th june the day 5th june which is celebrated as world environment day keeping in mind that to protect our environment from some kind of imbalance and now on that particular day we people used to do what we plant a few saplings in our home or in our school wherever wherever we are working in all institutes as well as uh, nearby the roads so we should do it not only that day but also in our special days like birthdays anniversaries and all during those uh, particular special red letter days we should take care that we should uh, plant some tree small plants and we should not only plant it we should take care of it to grow into a uh, um, full tree which later will give us fruit as well as it will give us shade to all our life so thank you for this is the last thing that we have to discuss inside uh, for the pre uh, explanation of this particular chapter so i hope all of you have understood my uh, wordings or uh, you have understood uh, the whole concept through which uh, which was trying to given through this chapter so thank you for listening me keep watching my videos if you really like my videos please put uh, place the like button over there and uh, uh, put some comment if you really like or and uh, don't forget to share and subscribe my channel and press the 
bell icon if you have not yet subscribed it and please share it as much as possible and take care of your health till the next video or till we next uh, till the next meeting of you and me so thank you for watching me thank you once again take care and stay at home be safe take care of your health thank you